as I said, I was going to show my new mod add-on system thingy. Um, as I just said in my last video that I uploaded a couple of hours ago. And um, I just needed to finish up some, the last things because uh, before I could uh, record this video. But um, some changes, or I've made a lot of changes from the old add-on system that I've made, if you have seen that. And um, the changes that I've made is that in the old add-on system you could uh, only create one class and um, you need to extract that class from the jar file that you export uh, so the program could load the class and the program could also if you had a, a .java file it could compile it to a class file so that's kind of a neat feature that it had um, but this new mod system it loads a whole jar file so you can have as many classes as you want to and as much stuff as you want to you just only need to uh, create at least one class that extends a uh, base mod class that I've called it. Um, that's kind of your um, main function for in a normal program. So the base mod is like the main function. Um, that's where everything is handled in your mod. So when you need something rendered, you need to pinpoint it from that class, and um, you can make more than one uh, ba that uh, class that extends ba a base mod. Uh, class in your jar file, so you can actually make more uh, mods in one jar file, and that's kind of a neat feature too. But um, I'll just show this map here, uh, or not map, this folder is where I just stored the f uh, five mods that I've made, just five simple mods, um, a colored backgrounds, and some keyboard listening, and a circle. Uh, and this test mod YouTube, that's the circle one, I actually made that um, because of this is a re-recorded video um, I actually just rec recorded it a couple of minutes ago but it ended, up, it ended up getting too long and because I was talking about too much crap but yeah, let's just open up the program um, the Mods um, have the capability, uh, not the capability, but you have the ability to, inside your class file, you can define the uh, name of your mod and the creator. For instance, you can see down here, it says uh, at the keyboard, it says Luke Skywalker created this. And that's because in the class, uh, I have a where you can get the creator's name, and um, you just write your the creator's name, and down here it says YouTube. And yeah, so, but, um, if I just select this blue background uh, mod, you can start seeing that it's just filled the uh, screen here with a big, blue, as a big blue background or a big blue rectangle. And um, if I resize the window, it's of course going to follow because the mod loader uh, reports to all the mods that this back uh, that this uh, background or size changes. Um, and we can also have the red background, just the two first ones that I made. And then I have a half background and the keyboard. And the keyboard is when you press the spacebar or hold it, it um, paints a black rectangle. And when you release it, it paints a white rectangle. And at the half background, the same thing you can do press space and it kind of switches um, places so it kind of flips. And the other test mod that I made um, is like an ellipse and it follows the screen. It centers and the width gets calculated from the uh, width of the screen and the height of this ellipse gets ca uh, calculated from the height of the screen. But yeah, just a few simple mods that I made. You can make them as complex as you want to. Uh, so you can actually buy this mod loader, you can make a whole game yourself and just load it using the mod loader if you wanted to. Um so for instance if I'm just going to if I'm going to put this into Die to Win or some of my other projects, then you could change the game as much as, as much as you want to um just by creating a mod. And the good thing about a mod loader or 
added mod loader system is that you don't have to override something in the game in the original game files um, to be able to change it to be able to change it so that's a good thing but um please tell me if you would like to uh, if you would like me to implement the mod system into the uh, die to win game or also my other projects and the mod loader is also capable of um, downloading the mods if you just implement or not implement but uh, give it a URL link so I'm going to um, create on my website when I get time so when you log in you can upload a mod and then you select uh, which kind of or not which but what of my programs or games you're going to upload to and um, then you can just copy the link from whoever made the mod and put it into the game and it's just going to download it um, yeah or download the mod from in there but tell me what you think about that idea and um, tell me what you think about the mod system here I am really pleased with it and I'm really happy that it works um, but yeah I don't have anything else to say so Valentine over and out.